my name's Revenge, and welcome to the third episode of Rev's Real Talk, where I give my unfiltered opinion on basically anything. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about family. Specifically, not all family is good family. And what do I mean by that? Sit down, grab some beef ramen, and I'll tell you. As a kid growing up, I did not exactly have the smoothest childhood. As a matter of fact, I was abused emotionally and physically regularly, particularly by my mother and my older sister. Emotional and physical mistreatment, broken promises, parentification when it came to my mom's hoarding animals problem, etc. And whenever I complained about this, I was basically made out to be the bad guy for simply asking for decent human respect. Eventually, I was just beaten and bullied to the point where I was just a spineless doormat for my family. It actually got so bad one time that I was actually tied out to the front yard like a dog. Now, was I a perfect little angel in this toxic family? No. But then again, I was also a kid. Kids do stupid things. It's not excusable, but it's to be expected. I didn't exactly grow up with the best of role models. I was raised by a single mom who spoiled me rotten when I was a kid, and then did a complete fucking 180 the moment I turned into a teenager. And once that happened, I was objectified to nothing more than a tool that did stuff for her. If I ever complained about anything to her, I was told I was being selfish or met with vitriol or threats of beatings because she couldn't take criticism. I wasn't allowed to vent to my teachers, my guidance counselor, or even my friends because I was lying about her. She was, and still to this day is, a chronic animal hoarder. A lot of my teen and early adult years were dedicated to raising animals I never asked for, but she kept bringing in even though she never really paid attention to them. She is by all definitions a slob and raised me in a house that was falling apart. She refuses to get a real job and leeches off of everybody else to support her failing business, where she supposedly makes more than me, yet still comes to me for loans even though I work at McDonald's, and she should, in theory, make more than me. Substantially more. And she has performed ever so emotionally healthy disciplinary actions for me. Such as destroying my prized possessions, deleting all of the music that I had made up until that point, whipping me with a belt, spitting on me, throwing hot coffee on me, calling me a C-word, straight up telling me one time that as long as you live in my house, you're my n****. Keep in mind, I am Lebanese on my father's side. She's even called me a retard knowing full well that I have Asperger's syndrome. And, as I mentioned before, tying me out to the front yard with a leash around my neck for doing sinful things. What were those sinful things? Uh, I was 12 at the time this happened, so you take a wild guess. And the only thing I had in the way of siblings was an abusive sister that not only emotionally mistreated me, but physically abused me. She would hit me, pin me down, spit in my face, grab me by my head, and slam me into the floor. One time, she even got creative and started whipping me with the dog leash. That being said, though, once my sister left the house, she actually mellowed the fuck out and realized she was a piece of shit. Now my sister and I actually have a really good relationship, and I spoil my niece and nephew whenever I can. The only person in my family that would ever defend me was my older brother, who was rarely ever home and was rather disinterested in me to begin with. And you're probably thinking to yourself, gosh, oh golly gee, Rev, that sounds like a very healthy place to raise an autistic child, but what does that have to do with your video? Simple. The slow and gradual realization that family isn't everything started when I saw a show called Static Shock, a piece of woke media that was actually good. Shocker, I know. <laughs> hey! Specifically, the scene where Rubber Band Man is fighting Eben, his brother, and Eben says, Blood is thicker than water! And then Rubber Band Man says something that has stuck with me to this day. Right and wrong is thicker than blood. This slowly started the rise in my brain that, Hey, my family kinda sucks. 
and I shouldn't have to put up with their bullshit. The other things that only added on to this further were my eventual trip into therapy and, ironically enough, Reddit. Now, I know a lot of people like to point fingers and laugh at Reddit because that's the place where memes go to die, like Big Chungus and all that good stuff, but subreddits like Entitled Parents, Raised by Narcissists, and Am I the A-Hole made me realize very quickly that I was in a very unhealthy relationship with my mother and my sister. That I didn't deserve all the beatings and general mistreatment. That bad family members are just as disposable as bad friends or acquaintances. That I could tell my mom no and if she didn't like it, she could eat a thousand dicks. That I didn't have to be reliant on family members that didn't have my best interests at heart. Do keep in mind that I still live with my mother out of necessity despite our problems. And after a violent altercation I had with her, which I will not specify, she knows not to fuck with me. I now have the courage to just tell her no if I don't want to do anything for her. I still earn my keep and still do my obligations in the house that are necessary, but anything beyond that, I can just tell her no. Like, for instance, my mom's husband actually once told me that I can't lock my door because it's a hazard to me because I won't be able to get out. I straight up laughed at his face and told him, you're fucking retarded. I don't have to put up with my family's bullshit anymore, and neither do you. When you are no longer dependent on your family, and you have your own home, your own job, your own family, you can tell your mom and dad, your brother, your sister, whatever, to fuck off. And I know that there's going to be some people out there that are like, but family is family and you forgive your family no matter what. And you should always be there for your family and give all your money to them if you're fortunate enough. Pardon my Spanish, but vete a matarte. Tu opinión es pura basura. I'm glad that you live in the land of rainbows and unicorns where your family is actually kind to you, where you have the privilege to never know what it's like to hate your family. This is not a video meant for people that actually have loving and healthy relationships with your family. You don't need this video. Or maybe you do because you're slowly realizing that the supposedly healthy relationship that you have with your family might not have been so healthy after all. If that's the case, that's way beyond my pay grade and I cannot help you. And I would strongly suggest that you go to therapy either alone or with your family to sort your feelings out. Therapy is an invaluable resource as it gives you the tools necessary to help yourself process your feelings in a healthy manner. Keep in mind that therapy isn't some magic, make bad feelings go away treatment. Think of it as an advanced strategy guide on how to sort out your emotions and problems. The guide gives you the tips and strategies necessary to complete the task at hand, but you have to put in the work to complete it. And sure, I may be sitting in my comfy chair slurping on ramen and bitching about my family, but I'm also doing work to undo the damage that they did. I'm working and saving up all my money, I'm building up my credit, I'm investing in cryptocurrency while there's a dip, applying everything that I've learned from therapy and Reddit to keep my family at arm's length and establishing boundaries, and nurturing the more healthy relationships that I have within my family. Because family are the people that don't abuse you. They are the people that love and support you and that you choose to surround yourself with. And not just coexisting either, actually love these people. But that's it for the video. If you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord so you never miss a video. This is Revenge, and I hope to hear from you soon.